Hey friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last two episodes, I gave you an introduction of Angular, I gave you an introduction of Angular 17 features and the list of new releases. Today is part 3 where we are going to learn how to upgrade from previous versions of Angular project to Angular 17. All right. Now, like any other um, upgrade of any software, right? Uh, sometimes things can be tricky based on how complex your project is and what different libraries you're using, what different dependencies it has and what other complex uh, libraries it has tightly integration with. However, the idea of this episode is to learn how to upgrade to Angular 17. So I'm going to give you a generic basic flow and you can always, um, you know, refer to me or reach out to me if you have help, if you need help in upgrading certain aspects. All right. So the first and first and simplest way is to just run the command ng update at the rate angular slash core at the rate 17 and angular CLI at the rate 17. All right. What this will do is it will install the latest um, version 17 that is and the core and the CLI will be upgraded automatically. OK, now let me show you. But before that, I'll also give you this, which is update dot angular dot. So if you go to update dot angular dot IO, you can choose from here which version you are upgrading, let's say 15 to 17, right, etc and it would ask you a few directives and to make sure all the checklists that you need to do. Okay. Again, like I said, this is a complex flow. It's not, it's, I wish and I pray that it's always easy, but it's not, uh, like I said, there would be a lot of different libraries that we use over a period of time in a project. Uh, they don't support certain uh, versions, etc. So we have some issues, but Assuming that we don't have any complex ones, I'm going to show you an example and give it a try. If you're following my channel, I have Angular 16 CRUD tutorial. All right. The entire uh, Angular 16 CRUD series that I've done uh, where we built a credit card admin. So let me go over there. Angular 16 CRUD and I am in the credit card admin. All right. So that's the application and let me try and run it. You need to be bash running angular credit card admin and ng serve all right so it's building up if you look at let okay so now you see it is up and running at localhost 4200 and this is how it looks uh, there is no data because we need to get the data also started so i'll just start that data also Okay, CD learning, Angular, 16 credit tutorial, CD credit, our admin, and here I'll start JSON server, hyphen, hyphen, watch, db.json, it's not serve, it's server. Okay, so my data is also up and running on localhost 300, and now you see the data, you see the dynamic cards, we have the add and we have the collapsible menu all that we did as part of angular 16 crud playlist so make sure that you go through that i'm not going that into details but what are we interested in so we see that now this application is running and data is rendering everything is good now let's me show you the package.json all right now if you look at the package.json all the things are angular 16 see here Angular router, platform dynamic, animation, CDX, everything is 16.1, right? Now we are trying to upgrade. Now, if you look at the dev dependencies also, they are 16, right? So now let's go ahead and run the command that we learned to upgrade our application, right? Which is ng update at the rate angular slash core at the rate 17. And you will also write at the rate angular slash CLI at 17. That means I want them to be upgraded to 17. So let's run it. It says repository is not clean. Uh, what did we make changes to? Um, this looks like uh, 
admin I'm not seeing just give me one second let me find out what files were changed I don't see any files changed in my repo unable to read file file angular 16 this is actually a directory uh, okay um, let's try one more time we are here ng update please commit or stash so let's stash the changes stash one and let's use some save old copy saved okay now the working versions are changed and stashed so let me run it now it says the installed angular cli version is outdated installing a temporary cli version 17.9 to perform now you see it's updating all the packages to 17 instead of 16 right now see it will check for dependencies it will upgrade everything that it requires and then it would do installation all right so first it is updating your package.json you can see here you can see at the bottom the message says update package.json and then installing packages so it is actually installing angular 17 and it is compiling everything all right so this migration completed no changes made all right all right so now let's go ahead and check what is the state of our angular package now you see everything is upgraded to 17 all right but except angular cdk it is still at 16.201 rest and angular material right so this we can again have to go ahead install them manually to 17 etc all right okay so that's the basic um, way of how you can upgrade any of your projects but before i leave you let me also show you that this upgrade actually worked and the way we can do is by running the application and checking it all right let's see okay so our application still looks good and things are working as expected yeah so we just upgraded our angular 16 um, crud tutorial code base to angular 17 by running the command ng update at the rate however you will run into challenges like this one now it is 16.2.1 so you can install that manually again and say that ng update angular cdk at the rate 17 and so on and so forth there would be some dev dependencies that would clash but you get the picture that how to go about so now that i have gone through all the packages whatever is pending i will do that manually all right now you can see here it is saying angular material 16.201 which will bring us to our next uh, topic which is angular installation right so i'm going to talk about fresh angular 17 installation and the project and we will also learn how to install bootstrap angular material components modules and much much more this is all we will cover today what i want you to do is take the copy of uh, angular 16 code if you would like it's available in my github so if you go to github repositories you will see the code base here under repositories of arc tutorials you can see angular 16 crud you can take that code for free of cost and do your learning okay learn how to upgrade that's very very important to learn and practice what you're learning okay do let me know if you have any questions and thoughts i'm always here to help you thank you so much for joining in the next episode we start fresh work with angular 17 installation and we'll learn how to do it from scratch thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode